You guys are hilarious. How do I know that? Because of TikTok stitches and duets. Delaney has rounded up the best ones for me to take a look at and we're gonna look at them together. A medium chimes in. I'm intrigued to see what they've got to say. Let's go. Okay, this is an older video, that's fine. This is one seriously strong ass ghost. It takes an extreme amount of energy for a spirit to move things in the physical world so the fact that this chair is going across the room is pretty huge i have heard this a lot of people have said that this is the case and um if you look at like places like ghost of Carmel, Maine, you don't typically see the kind of things that us really haunted and stuff like that pick up uh yeah so maybe we've got a quite a unique situation going on let's carry on i'm not getting that this is a benevolent ghost or, or an angry ghost uh it's just one that has a lot of power and is using that power yeah she's not wrong she's not wrong at all um we don't think it's anything malevolent male malevolent man you know the word i'm looking for um nothing bad's ever happened nothing bad probably will ever happen let's carry she, she, she's good she's good she knows her shit let's go given what i saw going on in this home I would be getting an energy clearing to clear out some of that energy. There is some negative energy happening. Not evil, but not good. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I've never heard of a spiritual cleaning. Spiritual reading. Spiritual cleaning. What did she say? Spiritual clearing. Let's go back. Clearing to clear. Clearing. Okay. Um, yeah. I've never heard of that in my life. Uh, is that like saging? Is that like saging and holy water? Um, if so, we've done saging and smudging, you know, where you around all corners of the house. Yeah, I don't know. Let's, yeah, she's good though. I'll, I'll give her a juice. She's a good psychic because she could pick up on all the things that we were quite aware of. Anyway, let's go on to the next video. Before we carry on with the video, we want to give a massive shout out to our channel members. As without the support from those guys, the things that we're able to do in our house and the videos that we're able to make just wouldn't be possible. And because of their small contributions, they also get exclusive perks like extra videos every single week, early access to videos and regular shout outs just like this. So if you want to become a channel member, then be sure to get down in the description or the pinned comment where there will be a link. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, Tra <gasps> This is Bishop James Long. This dude is like the messiah of the paranormal community at the minute. Like he's, he chimes in with so much stuff and I don't recognize this video of me though. Travel channel, what do you got for hey, us? Little... The travel channel. Is this our unexplained court on camera? There's a knock here and there. Yeah, this I love the accent, mine, the it? English accent. It just, I don't know. The English accent is, is a big dub. The Americans absolutely love it. Everyone, every American's like, I love your accent. Or there'd be bigger things like cupboard doors and drawers flying open with cut. Can we just talk about how the Travel Channel tried to blur out our watermark on that video? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. Look, they've literally blurred out the entire video just to get the watermark out. Like, bang it on Snaptick, you won't have to worry about it. Travel Channel, that's one for you. Like cupboard doors and drawers flying open with cutlery coming out. Yeah. Or mugs coming out of... Where did he find this video? Because I haven't even seen this episode yet, and it's, it's our feature. Where did he find this? I need to have a little look. Um, that is a lot of activity. The floor. We've had things like lights. Whoa, Lainey! Whoa! You were so pregnant! You can tell in your fat face! In the nicest possible way! Oh my god, I forgot how chunky you got. Like that maternal fat that you clung onto. Oh my god. You look so different now. Oh my god. Flickering. See, that could be poltergeist. Got footage of a tablecloth that's been pulled off the, the car. She's still beautiful though. Like, let's give her a props. Like, she's still beautiful. Table. That's not poltergeist. To me walking Ooh. down the stairs on what my phone, think? thinking nothing of it, and having a door slam shut in my face. Wow, oh, boy, they, they need they need clergy intervention immediate. Wow, that's two people that have suggested that. Like, doing housework, and before you know it, yeah. something's flying across the room in front of you. It's really quite anxiety-inducing at times. Gosh. Damn, Bishop James Long, if you want to get over to the gaff, you know you know who to call. Not Ghostbusters, Laney and Ben. Like, a spiritual, did he say a spiritual clergy? 
Let's have a look. Stairs on my phone, thinking nothing of it, and having the door slam shut in my face. Wow, boy, they they need they need clergy intervention. In clergy in intervention. I don't know what that is. Is that where you get like? Is a what is a clergy? I've heard that word before. Isn't that like a, a church thing? And then you know, is, is he basically implying that he what he sh he thinks that we should get a blessing on the house? Is that what's going on? I think that's the case. Interesting. Let's move on to the next clip. Right. Let's watch this. Oh bloody! Hell, look at that shadow on the wall. I know. Walking past. I know. In in. Nah, fuck that, mate. <laughs> He literally is talking on behalf of everyone who ever watches our videos ever. Look at the door! Yeah. I know, we've seen the door! The door is literally closed on its own! I know, I was there! Nah, you got no chance. I'd be out of that fucking door, mate. Keep running! <laughs> that is mad. That's proper portgoist activity. Yeah, man. Big time! Yeah, fuck that for young soldiers. I'm out. He literally is everyone who ever watches our videos personified, isn't he? Like, everyone who ever watches their video, our videos is like, I imagine they're like this when they see it. Oh, it's this dude again. All right, so if you're into the paranormal like me and you're on TikTok, you'll know about their channel, Lainey and Ben. People are giving them a grief saying this video is fake. Okay. People give us grief for every video, saying every video is fake. Like, this is nothing new, don't worry about it. We're good, we're good, we, we know, we know. Um, now, I don't think it is. I don't get why people are feeling it's fake. Uh, so they're having poltergeist activity within their home. Yeah, yeah. They've got so many more videos um, of things happening, yeah. but people criticize videos. them and tell them they're yeah. fake. I don't think they are. I think uh, it's real. Fair enough, fair enough. It's nice to see the someone who is on the other side of the fence. Like we've always said, and we always stand by it. Different opinions, completely welcome on our page and on our channel. And if you've got a different opinion, let us know. Um, which actually just fuels people to say anything that they disbelieve, not so much what they do believe. And it's actually quite refreshing to hear someone say something different, uh, which is nice. Next clip. Somebody knocking on the door. Somebody's knocking on the door. But who knocking on the door? Oh hell no. You see, Casper's tripping. Casper's tripping. <laughs> oh bitch, it's time to move on. Bitch, it's time to move on. That was the best thing I've ever heard in my life. Look at Orc! It's a fucking ghost! It's an Orc! <laughs> this guy's hilarious! Oh lord, down the ball with my so. <laughs> yeah, Casper's tripping. That nigga gotta go. He gotta get a vic. Oh, this is why I love doing this. This is why I love TikTok stitches. This is why I love all this stuff, man. Because stuff like this is just too funny, man. It's just too funny. Oh, this is probably our most popular clip. Ever. Okay, so this was the first video that someone tagged me in, and I'm going to talk about it. Okay. This is go. just my opinion. Just my opinion. No big deal. Uh, and you don't have to believe me, and I don't really care. You know for a fact this is going to be a bad video when he starts off with. This is just my opinion. Just my opinion. No big deal. <laughs> oh, we're about to either get absolutely slated or he's going to back our video in and trying to like preempt a backlash himself. Let's move on. So I've seen a couple of their videos. I saw a couple of other videos and they use things okay. like dousing rods and Ouija boards. Yes. We will yes. talk about that at another time. So in this video, the... Is he pro Ouija board because he's got a Ouija board jumper on? Hmm. Or opens by itself and two knives fly out of nowhere. The yeah. thing that I'm puzzled about is why would a ghost waste their time to do something so extravagant when nobody's there to see it? And I get that you could put a string on a drawer and pull it out. You could put a string on knives and pull it out. But they don't seem like the type of people that are going to do that. Okay, so this is the way that he's gone with the direction. Okay, fine. So in terms of the energy and why would you do it? 
I don't know, ask them. <laughs> I've not got an answer for you. Sam, why? But why would a ghost waste all that energy and do something so impressive when nobody is actually watching? Well, maybe they do that he's watching because, you know, this. from what I gather, there's still a conscious being there. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's still, like, fully conscious and aware like they would have been in the physical world. And that doesn't seem to go away from what I've learned. So they'd be aware that there's a camera literally no more than like three feet from from the, the activity going on. So maybe they are aware that something's going to be seen. Just a thought. I mean, if I were a ghost, I would wait for you to be in the room before I throw a knife at you. Especially if you haven't asked me what I need and what I want. I'm going to still act out, but I'm going to wait for you to be there. <laughs> so we've got a sassy spirit. So is this a video of a ghost? I'm not actually convinced. And yes, oh. I'm wearing a Ouija board t-shirt. Hang on. Ooh. Hang on. Wait, did he just completely 180 U-turn 360 motherfucking backflip this video? Because he goes, yeah, I'm aware that you can use strings and stuff, but they don't seem that kind of people. So I'm like, okay, so he's on the real side of the fence. And then he ends the video by saying, do I think this is a ghost? Absolutely not. And I'm like, huh? Like, I'm just completely dumbfounded. I'm like, what's up? Dude, pick a lane and stick in it. Don't be fence hopping. Pick a lane, stick to it. Commit to your decisions, big man. We move. All right, Rating reading scary, scary, ghost scary videos. Oh, I'm excited now, about this. obviously, with so much footage on the internet, with I really like her hair. Just low key, off topic. The kind of greeny look to it. I like it. It gives me like very spiritual vibes. I'm loving it. Like poltergeist activity, scary ghost activity with things moving in the kitchen or houses, like the cabinets and drawers is always scary, right? So automatically yeah. this is going to be on a high number, but Ooh. the unexpected takes place here because yes, it does. the more I looked into it, the more I read the caption, I was like, mm-hmm, this is easily going to rank high. Why? Because Why? shortly after the cabinet moves, the water starts to run. Now, the caption said, okay, my water bill is going to be high. Any ghost or anything that like runs up my bills in my house automatically gets a high rating on my rating scary videos list. So what we get? It's a 10. Oh, we got a 10! Woohoohoo! 10 out of 10, baby! Yeah, racking up water bills is not the one, especially with the cost of living crisis. It is actually diabolical. I'm dying on the inside. Real or fake? You tell me. Okay. Whoa. Man. Okay, spook junkies. Real or fake? You tell spook me. Spook junkies? That is a sick name for your community. Spook junkies. I'm like... Yes, dude. I hope he gives us his opinion and what he thinks. I'd like to hear what he thinks. Wow. wow. He seems stunned so far. He seems surprised by a lot of things. He's given us... He's given us a little Santa. So I think he could be on the real side of the fence, but... We'll see. The flipping way would I be staying in this house? I'd be moving out real quick. Okay. Okay. Right. So from that, I gathered that he's on the real side of the fence because he didn't say otherwise. And the way that he was talking kind of alluded to the fact that he thought it was real because he wouldn't want to stay in the house. He'd be moving out real quick. So uh, that's cool. So called on camera. We'll go with Eddie Murphy on this one. White people just sitting around looking at that like, hmm, how peculiar. <laughs> I can already tell this is going to be a friggin' hilarious video. Black people be like, man, this is a great place to raise the kids. Beautiful house. Too bad we can't stay. Wait, what? Come again. Let me watch that again. I'm going to go with Eddie Murphy on this one. White people just stick around and look at that like, hmm, how peculiar. How peculiar! Like, man, this is a great place to raise the kids. Beautiful house. Too bad we can't stay. I don't get it. Is that like a reference to something with the Eddie Murphy thing at the beginning? Have I, am I just being particularly young here and not understanding the reference? Someone please help me out in the comments. What? Because this is... And I feel like this is completely wasted on me. I hope someone, I hope someone got it. Not this, is this not now. Is this, this is going to be a skit? Three in the freaking morning. Yeah, about right. Alright, I told you once, I'm going to tell you all again. This is not going to be a thing every three in the freaking morning, okay? I'll Literally, most days, 
this do be the case. All right, let me tell you something. I'm gonna make shift some kind of roach bomb, but for ghosts. Okay, you ain't <laughs> make shift a, a roach bomb. It's not quite a ghost. Is it gonna be like an ectoplasm roach bomb? Spirit be gone. Hanging on the chandeliers or having some kind of fucking party, okay? Just because you dead and don't have a job other than be a pain in my ass, don't mean <laughs> we ain't got no jobs when you're trying to get some sleep. Okay, so based off of this video, there is a direct correlation between ghosts and babies. Ghosts don't let you sleep, babies don't let you sleep. Ghosts don't have a job, babies don't have a job, other than to be a particular pain in your ass at times. <laughs> That's all I got from this video. Oh, and they won't let you sleep and such. I think Get I made that program. point already. This is why nobody wants you in their home. This is why you've got things like bloody paranormal investigators and exorcisms, motherfuckers. You hearing me? Keep it down. Mind reaction. Oh, it's the light seer. This dude's um, on TikTok as well. He's particularly popular. He's, uh, from what I gather, I think he's a psychic spiritualist. Um, I think he labels himself a seer. I don't know if that's anything different to a psychic, if they've got different abilities. I don't know. Anyway, interested to see what he says. This okay, so this is an clip. SLS. This is a structured light sensory camera. <gasps> is that what that stands for? I've wanted to know for the longest time what SLS stood for. Structured light sensory camera. Uh, and they're awesome. That, so it's basically just kind of helping you pick up on what natural movements are that the natural eye can't connect to. I actually downloaded yeah. one of these apps and it was absolute trash. <laughs> I was like, I was like curious to see if it would work. But these are cool. So this looks like it's an actual camera. Um, what I love about this is that it gives the people who aren't necessarily tuned in to the ability to see like a seer is to kind of see what it looks like for us. Although... Wait, hold up a minute. So you're telling me that you can actually see ghosts and people on the other side like what the SLS camera shows. So you literally walk around and you see the physical people as they are, but then you see all these stick figures walking around. All these stick figures walking around. And you're like, dead, alive. That's trippy. That's trippy. Let's carry on. I can't, well, I can't speak for other people, I'll speak for myself. That it doesn't look like a stick figure. <laughs> I don't see dancing stick figures, I see, oh, you know, okay. figures. Oh, okay. Thanks for clearing that up. Um, but it's cool, you know, sometimes we'll see that they're moving around. I've seen some, like, tug at your feet and, you know, move your keys, and they do that. Sometimes it's very, very yeah, aggravating and very confusing and scary, but this is cool. Nice! It does be like that. It does be like that. That was really poor grammar. It, it is like that a lot of the time. Things used to go missing all the time. Keys, we've actually lost a set of keys in this house. I don't know where they've gone. That could be baby brain. I'm not gonna blame anyone in particular for that, but it ha it's happened. Um, but yeah, it is really interesting that to hear the thoughts and takes of him, especially, because you've got Bishop James Ong, who's quite a, a religious man and kind of takes the religious route. You've got this spiritual man who takes the spiritual route, and then you've got in the middle all these people who are just watching it just to have a good time and make skits and stuff. And I absolutely love it. And that is exactly how I know that you guys are hilarious. If you want to get involved with something like this, head over to TikTok, stitch some videos, and do you want to see a part two to this? Because there are plenty more videos. Let me know down in the comments below. And I do hope that you have enjoyed and we'll spook to you later. <gasps> Peace.